Hi there and welcome to a measurement video on the units of mass and temperature. Units of mass. The basic unit of mass is the gram, but we have some common variations you may have heard of. The kilogram, the milligram, and even the ton. That's a metric ton. Units of mass. We have one gram equaling a thousand milligrams, so I'm going to talk about the conversion rate. Now the conversion rate for that, as you can see, is a thousand, but it depends on whether we are moving from a smaller unit to a bigger unit or vice versa. Uh, that'll decide whether we are multiplying by a thousand to get from one number to the other, or dividing by a thousand to get from one number to the other. We'll have a look at how we decide that in a moment. We have one kilogram equaling a thousand grams, so once again the conversion rate is a thousand. We'll either be multiplying or dividing by a thousand to move from kilograms to grams or vice versa. And in a very convenient fashion, one ton equals a thousand kilograms, so lo and behold the conversion rate is a thousand again. We'll be either multiplying by a thousand or dividing by a thousand depending on whether we're going from kilograms to tons or tons to kilograms. We'll have a bit of a system, we'll develop a bit of a system to help us with that. So the conversion rules generally though, if you are converting to a smaller unit, you will be multiplying by the conversion rate, and if you are converting to a larger unit, you will be dividing by the conversion rate. We'll stick to those rules. So we'll have those rules, the conversion rates up the top there for the different units and the conversion rules just up the top to uh, for us to refer to through this video as we do lots of converting and getting lots of practice. We'll also just de decide what the conversion rate is between the units we'll be working with and thankfully it'll be nice and easy this one really uh, for deciding the conversion rate. They're all ha they all have a conversion rate of a thousand but we will have to decide whether we're converting to smaller units or larger units in each case and from that we'll decide according to our conversion rules, uh, whether we will be multiplying or dividing by a thousand. And we'll get our final answer then. So let's have a look at each one in turn. We have some converting to do here. We have 3.6 grams. We want to convert that into milligrams. So the conversion rate will be a thousand as it will be in all the uh, conversions in this video. Very convenient. But uh, now milligrams are smaller than grams, so we'll be converting, if we're going from this direction to this direction, to turn convert into milligrams, that'll be smaller units. Now according to our conversion rules up here, if we're going to smaller units, we'll be multiplying by the conversion rate. So we'll be multiplying by a thousand. Now from your decimal work earlier in life, uh, you'll notice that you will, to uh, multiply by a thousand, you get to move the decimal point three spots to the right, or I'd recommend you doing it on your calculator, and uh, you'll get a final answer of 3,600. So 3.6 grams equals 3,600 milligrams. So that sort of thinking process down the four steps there, um, we'll do that each time so we'll get the hang of that and uh, it'll end up being a bit of a habit. Converting this time from milligrams to grams, uh, the conversion rate is going to be 1,000 again. We have to make a lot of decisions on that in this video. Uh, but to going from milligrams to grams, we're converting to larger units, which will mean we're dividing by that conversion rate. So we'll divide by a thousand and we get 5.6. Now, uh, the decimal point on 5600 would be at the end. And so to divide by a thousand would be moving the decimal point three places to the left. So really, it, we could have thought of this as having, our answer as having, having two zeros at the end, but we don't really have to necessarily write those two zeros in at the end of a decimal. So that's what, how it became 5.6 for our answer there, which we'll type up the top there. Okay, so a little bit different than there, we were dividing by a thousand. This time we're going from kilograms to grams, the conversion rate will be a thousand. We're moving to smaller units, grams are smaller than kilograms, so we will be multiplying by a thousand. And 57 times by a thousand is 57,000. Don't have to think about that one too much. Going from grams to kilograms now, a thousand is our conversion rate. Kilograms are larger, we're converting to larger units. And so we'll divide by a thousand. Uh, we could think of that as moving the decimal point three spots to the left, one for every zero, 
So the decimal point is actually going to be just to the left of the 1 there, leaving us with 0.1274. I'd really recommend, even though you might know it in your head, to just double check these things on your calculator just to make sure. Conversion rate between kilograms and tons. We can see from uh, up this top section here, got them all listed. Kilograms and tons, a thousand is your conversion rate there, as it is for all of them, so we don't have to check too much, do we? Uh, tons are larger units, uh, so that means we're dividing by a thousand. And the decimal point, which would normally be here invisible, moves across three, so 90. 2.370, but we don't necessarily have to write zeros at the end of decimals like I got through saying just before. 92.37 tons. Going from tons to kilograms, conversion rate's a thousand. Converting to smaller units, kilograms are smaller than tons, and therefore we will be multiplying by a thousand. That would move our decimal point three, three places to the right, giving us 290 kilograms in 0.29 tons. Now the other, uh, other than mass, which we just got through exploring fully, we have the units of temperature in this video. The basic unit of temperature, as you probably know, is degrees Celsius. We have a symbol of degree C. And uh, all, we, all we're required to know about this, not to convert them to different uh, types of temperatures, but just to know our way around uh, the Celsius scale, you may be aware that uh, temperatures of note include zero degrees, which is the freezing point of water. Sounds pretty freezing, zero degrees, it's the sort of temperature you get down the snow. And 100 degrees C, that's the boiling point of water. Okay, so that's our units of temperature there. Now units of mass, just to recap, we've got our conversions there between grams and milligrams, kilograms and grams, and tons and kilograms, all being a thousand. We uh, figured out that um, that conversion rate is true and depends on what direction you're going in as to whether you, um, whether you multiply or divide by that thousand. The conversion rules, if you're converting to smaller units, we'll be multiplying by the conversion rate. And when we were converting to large units, we will divide by the conversion rate. Units of temperature we saw briefly, very briefly. The basic unit of temperature is degrees Celsius. All right, quick rundown, but uh, nice and uh, straightforward conversion rate each time. We didn't really have to think too hard about them, did we? Anyway, get used to that method and uh, that'll be good. Uh, all the best in your, uh, in your studies. If you need any help with your maths at any stage at all, it's all always available, peterblakemaths.com, lots of videos and help there. Thanks a lot. Catch you later.